up priest planet it is a tarot priest i'm back with another pick a card reading in today's video i'm going to be looking at exactly what you need to hear right now exactly where you are if you click on this video and you're here doesn't matter which month you're in or year you're in this is a timeless video and it's going to be exactly what you need to hear right now right in the moment that you are currently in if you guys are new to my channel welcome to the planet where we embrace love happiness freedom and most importantly truth Shout out to all my new subscribers. Also to my Patreons, I have your guys' name in the description box below to show my gratitude. If you guys would like to book a personal reading, find information about the book that I'm getting ready to release, my online tarot course or any other information, you guys can find that in the description box below as well. In today's pick a card reading, I have four different decks and four different stones that you can choose from. I have deck number one, deck number two, deck number three, and deck number four. Remember that when you guys are choosing your decks, it's not based on color, it's not based on symmetric, it's gonna be the deck that is pulling towards you or you feel that is resonating towards you. Don't forget to like this video, click the subscribe button as well, and don't forget to turn on your notification bell to receive the new videos that I'm gonna be releasing every week. So let's hop into today's reading. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is exactly what you need to hear right now in the moment that you are currently in. So for the overall energy for this deck is reward yourself. You've been giving a lot of yourself lately and it's time for you to receive. Make the time to reward yourself in a meaningful way. The balance of giving and receiving is essential to keeping your energy, mood, and motivation constantly at a high level. Let's see what else is going on with you guys. Knight of Wands. So what I'm getting right off the bat is a lot of you guys are exhausted. And the reason why you guys are exhausted is because the things that you're currently doing are not really inspiring to you or exciting. So what's happening is it feels like you're giving a lot of yourself or you're drained or some of you are having trouble sleeping or um, experience a lot of draining energy. So a lot of you guys are burnt out. Part of rewarding yourself is also going to be doing the things that are inspiring to you and exciting. So when you're doing the things that are exciting and inspiring to you, you don't have to really worry about being burnt out. So you're giving too much of yourself and it's time to receive. So rewarding yourself is not just about taking yourself out, doing things for yourself, taking yourself to a movie, eating. It's about doing the things that you actually desire and actually enjoy. And that's why a lot of you guys are burnt out. With the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands and the Queen of Cups in reverse, yeah, you guys are emotionally drained. Uh, some of you guys are really hard on yourself, giving too much of yourself uh, to jobs, to careers, to relationships, and it's not really fulfilling you. But right now, it seems that you guys are going through a transition in discovering more of who you are and the things that you feel will give you the most ambitious outlook on life. So rewarding yourself also, I'm just feeling like you guys need to take a break and also focus on the things that really inspire you. Um, emotionally, you guys are drained. Yeah, that's what I'm getting for, for already. You guys are drained. A fury climate approaches, yeah. So you guys are coming to a point in your life right now where um, you guys could be an Aries. You don't have to be. Remember when I say zodiac signs, I'm just giving you the signs that are popping up on the chart or that I'm feeling. Um, you guys could have a lot of fire in your chart as well because we Aries is a fire sign. So that's fire, Sagittarius, or Leo. You guys are made to be ambitious people. So whatever you're doing currently right now that's not really lighting you up or giving you new energy is because it's not for you. And you guys are discovering things like I had posts on my Instagram a lot of us are going through a rebirth, especially in October. It seems like a preparation for 2020. So a lot of us are shedding old friends, old beliefs, old lifestyles, jobs, and um, the life that we thought was ours. And so it can be scary, but you guys are getting ready for um, a new energy is what I feel like for you guys. New energy, new life. And it seems like in November, it's going to feel like a new year for some of you guys. Yeah, so you guys are reaching a climax right now. It's more of a climax of energy, having a boost of energy, but it's coming from you discovering who you truly are. Yeah, focused intention. So right now, it's it's all about what you guys desire, what lights you up, what inspires you uh, for deck number one. You 
are giving too much of yourself and it's almost like 90% of the things you're doing, you're doing because you believe you have to. And so right now you guys are going through a shift of discovering what you desire, setting your sights high. Some of you guys have low standards. You're being asked to raise your standards in the things that you believe that you can attain in life. And also with expecting the best possible outcome, this is about shooting higher and believing. A lot of you guys are also shifting your beliefs. Uh, they're limited. And a part of it is rewarding yourself. So the crazy thing is, is that you guys are going to be able to create easier when you're doing the things that you love to do and the things that you feel like you're having the most fun doing. It's all about ambition and desire. Um, with the focus intention as well, it's about putting yourself first. You're putting a lot of the... <laughs> You guys are putting so much before you that doesn't even make you happy because you believe that you have to do it. And you're being challenged to shift your mindset and your limited beliefs and shooting higher, aiming for the stars so that when you miss the stars and if you miss the stars, you land on the moon. So it's shooting higher so that if you do not reach your climax, you are still reaching the desires of your heart. So setting your sights high, raising your standards, experiencing grace yeah some of you guys have gifts you guys are experiencing that but you're blocked also with i feel like some of you need to release things that have happened questions a lot of you guys are questioning why why are things happening uh why am i not happy it's also because there needs to be a sense of free um forgiveness having grace for for the things that are happening also for yourself a lot of you are very hard on yourself. And so what's happening is you're learning how to experience grace for yourself and others, the people that have, may have hurt you in the past or decisions that you may have made. Um, I'm also realizing a lot, it's, it's becoming a common thing with the people that I'm life coaching. A lot of you are older and you're worried because you're realizing the things that you have set your time to do. Um, degrees, doctorate's degrees, experience, you're now discovering that this is just simply not what you want to do. It's not really exciting to you. Um, and you feel like there's more out there for you and it's scary. So it's about also having grace for yourself and the decisions that you made. A lot of you guys also with this deck, I feel like I'm hearing this a lot. I feel lost. I feel lost, but it's something special to feel lost because you're aware that you're actually lost. A lot of people are just wandering this earth and they don't realize they're lost. So the awareness of you being lost is actually the first step of awakening because you're realizing I'm not in the place that I'm supposed to be. So you guys are in the right spot, having grace on your life. Um, as far as your love life, you guys also are being asked not to, to rush it, to take, to allow nature to take its course, but flow. Too many expectations on your future in the vision that you have for your love life. Um, you're also asking, you're being asked to release that and allow things to flow. Give thanks for the love that's soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. This for you guys is a lot of self-worth. So if you're wondering why you're not manifesting the things or the people or the life partner or the job or the career or the purpose, it is because you are one, feeling not deserving. And I know that sounds crazy. A lot of people are like, why would I feel like I don't deserve better? It's not that logically you don't feel like you deserve it, but in your heart, you're resisting it because something feels wrong to be so blessed and abundant. It's a subconscious feeling of worth and knowing that you deserve it. And part of this is manifesting exactly what you want. So if I put into the atmosphere, I want this, I want this type of life partner. I want this life. I want this car, this home, this purpose. It's because I feel like I deserve it. And it actually is going to manifest because in my heart, I truly feel that way. Some of you guys are questioning whether or not it's too big or you're asking for too much. And that's part of the mission is to, again, set your sights high and know that you deserve it, which is part of the rewarding yourself. And it's all about discovering what your heart truly desires for you guys. Um, divine guidance, the search for meaning in life. Yeah, a lot of you feel lost. You have no idea why you're here. This is amazing. To wake up and question why I'm here means that you're on the right track. 
Imagine the people, again, who are waking up and they're not wondering why they're here. They're just kind of going in circles. They're drones, they're robots. You guys are actually waking up and it is scary. So you're at the brink of your, um, of your awakening, but it's due to the fact that you're burnt out. So a lot of the things that are happening in your life that are emotionally draining you or burning you out is to get you to this place of waking up. Okay, so you guys have divine guidance. Consider an alternative approach. Surround yourself with wise teachers and friends. Like I said, a lot of you are gonna be shedding old friends, old teachers, old careers that you thought were for you. You're getting ready to let those things go and it can be scary. And your soul tribe is coming in. New friends at a higher frequency. Not friends that are gonna say, oh well, that, I don't know, that just seems like a lot. Why do you need so much? Why do you need that? Why do you need to travel? These friends have very low expectations in what they feel they deserve, so they're not able to manifest it. And so you're being surrounded with wisdom. Also, my YouTube channel, um, which is why I feel like you guys are here to push you and understand that all of the desires that you're given are not from you, but from your higher self or your spiritual self, source, God, whatever you believe. They're given to you for a reason. They light you up. They feel amazing when you're thinking about doing it because it has been given to you by divine guidance. The search for meaning in life. So you guys are on that search. Six of Gabriel. Congratulations. You've done a wonderful job. Time to move on to the next project, right? Some of you are getting promotions. Some of you are quitting your jobs. Some of you are leaving relationships. Some of you are leaving friends. You're being reborn. You're on to the next level or you're going to the next level. You've given so much of yourself and jobs and relationships and now it's time to receive justice. Yeah. You guys are going to get what you deserve. Fight for justice and equality. Rulings made in your favor. Don't give up. So a lot of you guys are at the brink. You're like, I don't know how much more I could stay at this job. I don't know how much longer I can live this life that I know I'm not meant to live because I'm meant to have more. This is also part of your awakening. Five of Raphael, everything happens for a reason. Release regret, embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So again, blessings in disguise. Things are happening to bless you. So those of you who are questioning, why is this happening? Why do I feel this way? You're basically being set up for the desires of your heart. So a lot of us are praying and asking the universe or God to do these things for us. And the universe is trying to work for you and make these things happen. But it's going to require some, I don't want to use the word sacrifices, but okay, I want to give you this, but I have to remove this person. I want to give you this, but this job, if you want more, this job's not going to be it. So I'm going to have to release you from this job. So a lot of the things are happening for a reason. And that's where the grace comes in, having grace for the decisions. You didn't make a wrong decision. Every single decision you made landed you here on this video to choose this deck in synchronicity. We are in synchronicity right now as you're, as I'm reading to you. So you're in the right place. Three of Gabriel, prosperity arising for wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. It's time to take the leap of faith for a lot of you. And uh, prosperity, those of you who are worried about money, your energy towards this, this new job, this new life, is going to put you in such a place to be able to reap the rewards that you are actually looking for. It's very hard to manifest in an energy of low vibration. And a lot of your old life has low vibration, every single pocket. So you're being reborn. The world, yeah. You guys have a whole new beginning. You guys are preparing for Manifestation 2020, a very happy ending, coming full circle, spiritual growth and insight. So you guys are going to be giving messages as well. It's a completely new beginning for you guys. The world, everything is at your fingertips. As long as you believe you're worthy of it, you will receive it. That's how powerful you are. Seven of Pentacles, patience and breakthrough financially. Trusting your ideas, trusting your direction. Remember your direction, you are divinely guided, right? Through signs, justice again is coming up. A lot of you guys are waiting for a breakthrough. The breakthrough is around the corner. Everything that has happened was to get you to this very point um, in justice. You guys could definitely be a Libra because we have Libra energy twice. 
You don't have to be, but you can definitely be a Libra. Nine of Swords. I choose my battles carefully. Let go. If you resist and hold on to the things of your old life, it is going to cause you pain. Your old life is attached to an old job, old beliefs, old doubts, old fears, old friends, old relationships. And as you hold on while you're being reborn and creating this new world and new life for yourself, it will cause you a great deal of pain. So you're being asked to choose your battles carefully. What do you, do you want to fight for the things that were in the old life? Are you ready for a new beginning and the things that you truly deserve? So this is also about self-worth guys, queen of wands. Okay. I am naturally creative, creative energy, creating something new. You are creating an entirely new life. Five of Pentacles, I am supported and never alone. Trusting in the universe and the guidance that you're being given to lead you to this new world. Well, how do I create this new world, Tarot Priest? You have to trust in the inner guidance. This is why your spiritual path, not religion, your spiritual path is so important because you're trying to get to this place in the, in the vision that you have for yourself, but you have to be open to receiving guidance from something greater that's inside of you that we all feel that is your intuition ace of swords you're asked to you're being asked to shift your perception you can't see the world once you completely wake up you will not be able to see the world the same so you're being asked to to change your perspective of life okay it's no longer going to be what it used to be are you ready for the new i am ready for a breakthrough to success it's literally right around the corner opportunity beckons it's waiting for you new vitality new energy new 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 that's all i fear feel for you guys literally new new energy but you have to be ready to embrace it a lot of you are a lot of you are very close to being open to receive this new energy don't be so hard on yourself it's it's challenging to Create this new life for yourself and see yourself completely different and have new friends and so much has changed. It can be very scary. So don't be so hard on yourself. Allow things to take its course and don't try to control anything. Just let things flow. Strengthening bonds. A lot of you guys are strengthening bonds with your family, but mostly with your intuition, getting back to your spirituality, releasing. Yeah, you guys are releasing old lifestyles, old patterns, old people. You guys are going through a rebirth and nothing but joy and stability is waiting for you. Joy, stability, new energy, opportunity, everything that you want is on the other side of you taking the leap of faith. Coming together again, strengthening bonds with yourself, with your intuition, coming together and surrounding yourself around people of a high frequency, people who are also um, shooting for the stars and believe in the fact that you can manifest the things that you actually desire. Trust your path. If you knew you were supported, what would, what would you do? Again, you're being asked to trust, birthing a new age, dreaming a new world into being. You guys are dreaming an entirely new world into being. Retreat, rest. Again, as you guys are shedding this, a lot of you might be experiencing being sick, as I have been down with the sinus infection for a few weeks. You guys are just releasing. Your body is going through the side effects of releasing the old you in the old life. And then the great gathering, soul tribe, intuition hits. So you guys are getting ready to go through a rest period because you've been through a lot. It's been a lot. And it's all to get you to release and replenish yourself. Take some time because, again, your life is getting ready to change on drastic levels. So... It's going to get to the point where you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, wow, I don't even recognize this person. It's completely new energy. It's a new life. And so you're being asked to prepare for that because you're birthing new creations, new energy, because you deserve it, because this is what you've asked for, because this is the desires of your heart. And now the universe and God wants to put you in the position to do that. But in order to make room for the new, you have to get rid of the old. And so while you're getting rid of the old, take some time to retreat and replenish so that you can prepare because it is going to shake up your world and it's going to create a new world. So this is what I have for you guys. It's mostly focusing on your passion, your purpose and coming to a place of an awakening. And you guys can feel it. Something's changing. 
and you know that something is coming, it's the breakthrough to success in the new world that you guys are creating for yourself. So don't forget to comment down below if you guys chose deck number one. I can't wait to get some comments of encouragement back to you guys and stay encouraged. You're on the right path. You are no longer lost. You are just awakening. I'm going to move on to deck number two. If you guys chose deck number two, this is exactly what you need to hear right now in the moment that you were in today. So for the overall energy for deck two, we have steady progress. We acknowledge you for the progress you've made in remembering love in your daily activities. We can clearly see the contribution you're making to the world through your thoughts, feelings, and actions of love. And what do you desire? You now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's truest desires. Once you clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, then they'll rush into your life as if it were magic. So when I'm feeling like just in October, 2019, it doesn't matter which month or year you guys are in. Remember time is um, just an illusion time. This is a timeless video. And so I do believe that you are at a point in your life of discovering what it is that you desire, but also it seems like discovering your desires and your deservings. So what you feel you deserve. So already I'm feeling like for a lot of us that are connected because we're all one, you are being asked to shift the things and the life that you believe that you deserve. And so when you look at your life right now, you actually are manifesting the life that you feel that you deserve. If you feel like you deserve better, you will begin to manifest better for you. And so a lot of you are being asked to shed your limiting beliefs about what you feel like you deserve or desire. And a part of this is discovering who you are because when you realize who you are, you also see that all the signs point back to you. So why are you so damn deserving of what you desire? That's what you're discovering. And when you discover just how special you are, this will also shift your world. A lot of you guys are being protected as well. As you're cutting cords of old soul ties and bonds to people or the life that you are living, you're moving beyond limitation. So a lot of you are afraid to move forward or in a drastic measure and beyond what you're limiting yourself because you're afraid. And I know that sounds crazy, but it is scary to take a leap of faith into the unknown. And so right now you're being guided and asked to trust because you're protected along your journey. So there's nothing to fear. That's what you guys are learning. The wheel, new beginnings, end of delays, a change in direction that offers happiness. So also things are changing. This seems to be a common theme for a lot of us right now is that things are just simply changing and our lives are becoming different. We're meeting new people. People are exiting our life. Um, it's been a drastic change, especially for the year of 2019 to prepare you for 2020. So you're ending cycles and the delays and your life are also ending. So remember as an end approaches, a new beginning appears because it's really just a loop. Queen of Michael, brilliance, self-reliance, insight, and humorous. So this is also about, some of you guys have a gift of clairvoyance, you're dreaming. For those of you who are dreaming, get a dream caster, get a dream journal, start documenting these dreams because it is important for the vision. You have been giving an insight and ability to see so that you can manifest exactly what it is that you're seeing. So you're visionary. And most of the time, this is clairvoyance. This is um, clear seeing, being able to see things, having visions when you're sleeping. These are also given to you. A lot of you are creators. Um, I'm feeling like a lot of you are also um, here to create a new perspective. Like I feel like a lot of you are directors, movie directors in the entertainment field that have visions um, even inventors, some of you guys are inventors as well and um, have the insight and the ability to change the world. And you guys are kind of doubting yourself. Some of you already have seen yourself there and you're like, okay, I see myself here. I'm supposed to do great things, but why am I not there yet? And so it's creating frustration. That's why we have a steady progress. Look, you're doing great. 
you're on the right path, you are already making progress. Just you being on this video alone tells me that you are trying to progress and find more spiritual growth and answers to uh, your destination. Ace of Michael, yeah, it's a new perspective, a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder you. Clear up communications and problems with others. You know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. So a lot of you are putting relationships on hold, but you have a new idea. And if, and if it's not the entertainment, if it's not the creative field, you have ideas that are getting, getting ready to be given to you. And once you decide, like the card says, that you're ready, you are the only person that is in the way. You're the only person that's stopping you. And I made a post on my Instagram too, if you guys are not following me, the Tarot Priest. There is no such thing as competition when you realize everyone has limited beliefs. So our limited beliefs are our only competition. And as you learn that, you steadily grow. The person that works on themselves the most is the winner. And that's what I'm learning. The more introspection and self-awareness and work, the faster you will progress. Um, and so it is tough to take criticism and um, go through a journey of understanding that you need to focus on the things that are hindering you and actually take the time. If you have a blockage, sit down, take the time. Um, be aware of your thoughts because your thoughts are also limiting you. Again, as new ideas come in, an idea is a thought. And so you guys have to be very cautious as to what thoughts you're allowing to come in. Epiphany, joy through spiritual growth, be a light to others, answers to that, answers that come through meditation. Like I was just saying, literally before I flip the card up, um, the meditation for a lot of you, like I tell everyone, don't start with something drastic like 10 minutes, that's a lot. Just start with like 10 seconds, three times a day. Manifesting so that you find that place of bliss and the awareness when your thoughts are gone. Because remember, you are not your thoughts. You cannot be the owner of the thought and the thought. And that is higher learning. But I feel like if I'm saying it, you guys are on the way of understanding that you are just the awareness behind or around your thoughts. And so um, with meditation, you learn that when your thoughts stop, you are still present. And so therefore the thoughts are not who you are. And so that's why I'm saying as you're going through the spiritual growth and being a light to others, you're receiving answers, but your answers and new ideas are kind of diluted with thoughts. And so if you have limited thoughts, it is going to be really hard to uh, manifest them. This situation doesn't deserve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting pro approach. Again, you guys are dealing with a lot of mental um, a lot of mental battles, believing that you can do it. Um, again, limited beliefs, doubts, fears, disbeliefs, and the more energy you give to it, it's crazy because I told my sister this the other day, my younger sister, I was like, you doubting yourself is literally like you sitting in your room like, hmm, is this really my name? Imagine if you took the time to doubt your name how much of a waste of time that would be to doubt your name, something that you know is true. And that's kind of like what it is with what you guys are doing. You're doubting a lot of yourself. And it's just simply a waste of time because you're choosing to believe uh, in a thought that is not true. And so if you're believing in thoughts that are like, you know, this is what you deserve. This is the best you can get. This is the best relationship. This is the best job. Um, then you're limiting yourself in your the minute it's not the thought that hinders you it's you believing in that thought to be true because you make what's true and so you guys are also being asked to clear your mental most of the things you guys are going through is a mental battle three of ariel do what you love a time of great personal growth in your career and artistic endeavors working with others in a cooperative manner like i said artistically you guys are gifted a lot of you are here to create really big visions but some of you are like is this too big and that is a limiting thought as well because we're here to create the impossible as well and again like i said i don't know who even came up with the word impossible but it shouldn't even be in the dictionary because why would we have such limiting words that we surround ourselves with it's something to think about ancestor spirit some of you have been here before 
connecting to your lineage, a family wound or pattern could be healed or dealing with family matters. Um, a lot of you guys are dealing with people who have traditional beliefs. And again, like I said, I do YouTube. My parents were not going to encourage me to do YouTube because YouTube wasn't around. And so our lives are completely different from our parents. And so you guys are also being asked to break that traditional belief system. And um, some of your guys' family are not gonna support what you are doing or believing in you, but that is also training ground for you to overcome fears. Is That's why you are given the family that you're given, is what I'm hearing. Your dreams need a practical plan, yeah. So you have dreams, and it doesn't have to be artistic, but you are definitely here to create, for sure. But you guys have to start with what you desire, even if it's something very, very minute and small. Start somewhere. Um, your dreams need to be a practical plan. You could be a Taurus. You don't have to be or have Taurus in your chart. But creating a practical plan is also writing it down as manifesting. I write everything down because once you put it on paper, you're manifesting it from a thought to tangibility on paper. That's why it's so important to plan and put things down. Now, again, a practical plan is just words on paper that you're manifesting. It doesn't have to be an exact plan, but as you start writing, it's the, the world starts shifting and making this happen for you. But if it's just here, you have to get it here in this physical world. And so that's what manifestation is. We have thoughts, we have ideas, and we have dreams, and we're just trying to make it a reality. And that's where the practical plan comes in. A new romance cycle begins. A lot of you guys are putting... Um, romance on hold and that's totally fine let's see what's going on with that deep in your heart you know the already know the answer do what is right it is important to right now to take a step back and spend some time alone your your guys' favorite alone time and self-love i know it's crazy but it is going to be worth it and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another now is the time to give to yourself and so now you guys are also like i'm saying to all of my coaching clients is that you are manifesting a new you and a new life and a new beginning for yourself. And as you shift, you will start attracting people of a higher frequency. So it is good to release this energy and, and come into an energy of uh, manifesting new so that you guys can um, create a new romantic cycle from a place that you actually feel like you deserve. A new start is coming, yeah. So new for you guys as well. A new start is coming. Nine of Wands, I am strong for as long as I need to be strong. Some of you guys are burnt out and tired as well. Um, this is the stamina card. You've been through a lot. You're waiting for a breakthrough, but you're actually waiting for yourself. And that's what you're learning as well. I am young. I am as young as I choose to feel. I've, I've been feeling this heavy a lot with the people that I'm, I'm coaching currently. A lot of us are in our 40s and 50s and feeling like our life is over. But remember that age is just a number to your body and your spirit having this experience in the body. So do not let the body define you. You are as young as you feel and it is not over and it is not too late for a new beginning for a few of you guys that, I, that I'm feeling. The star, I am inspired and positive about the future. My favorite car, this is Aquarius energy. Being optimistic also is seeing your future before it happens creates excitement envisioning yourself in that new car that you want or the new life or traveling or doing what you enjoy doing or spending more time with your family this is going to inspire you and be pos to be optimistic and positive about your future you're also learning that the hangman i can see this situation another way we're asked to being we're asked and being asked to change our perspective on our life in the way that we see the world with the hangman a lot of us are feeling like we are physically incapable and that is because the hangman as you know they are tied up physically but spiritually they are free and so sometimes we have to get snagged up for us to to literally sit down because some of us are hard-headed and the universe god is like okay since you didn't want to listen a year ago <laughs> Now I'm going to put you in a position where you're snagged up and you have no choice but to use your faith. And sometimes it does take us to get to rock bottom before we start to see things from a spiritual eye rather than a physical strength. Some of you guys could be a Leo or have Leo in your chart. You don't have to. I can deal with whatever comes my way. Like I said, with the stamina card and the nine of wands, a lot of you have been through a lot, but it's not over. And it's crazy because even if you guys wanted to quit, you couldn't. 
because you're just not made to quit. Like some of you guys genuinely would love to quit because you feel like that would give you a break, but you're just not made to quit. You have too much strength and you were literally born and made for this is what I'm hearing. Um, Eight of Cups moving away from things that emotionally are not fulfilling to you, okay? Nine of Swords, some of you guys are dealing with depression and anxiety and also you guys are being asked to release that. Like I said earlier, it's a lot, there's a lot of air, a lot of sword energy. And this is all, again, focusing on the light in a dark place, knowing that there is a way out, but you have to see the way out because if you're in the dark and you can't see the light, it seems very hopeless. And so you're also being, I'm being told that even in the place that you're in right now, there is a beak of light. There is a beacon of light. You just have to shift your perspective and look and seek for it. It's there. You just have to seek for it and a way out. Page of Pentacles, yeah, a lot of you guys are manifesting. It's a slow manifesting, um, but again, don't overlook small beginnings. Remember, it has to start small before it can grow larger. So don't be so hard on yourself. A lot of you guys are just way too hard on yourself. Steady progress, you're doing great. You're much further along than a lot of other people. Imagine some of us who are in our 70s and 80s and still have not found this video or found the strength to find something new in life and they pass and they don't really discover this. You guys have discovered this right now for a reason. And so don't overlook small beginnings, okay? Longing for home, belonging, the original light worker. So yeah, you guys are creators and manifestors um, in the entertainment world, in the creative world, some of you in the entertainment world as far as creating movie, script, music, artwork, expression. Some of you guys are here to create through expression and you guys are here to do that through light worker. So you guys are going to spread your message differently. This is how I choose to spread my message, using tarot cards to connect with you guys. And some of you are going to be expressing it through artistic ways or even at your job. Remember, if you just influence one person, it changes the frequency of the entire planet. And so again, don't overlook your progress in small beginnings. And so you guys are part of the light worker community. A lot of you, I'm feeling like our creators. Take a break, a life's work, not a season. Stop running yourself in the ground. This is kind of like with group number one. Stop running yourself in the ground, doing things that you don't even enjoy doing. Shift that. Understand that you deserve a life that's worth living for. Rebuild. Yeah. I mean, all of us are connected. We're getting these messages. It's time to rebuild. It's a rebirth. It's a new life. Some of you are feeling alone. It's the relationship. Some of you are like, why is this relationship not here? Why is not nothing working out for me? When am I going to get my life partner? When am I get married? Shift your focus and rebuild your life as you're shifting yourself, your perspective, who you are in your life, you are going to manifest this person. Remember, your life partner for you guys who chose deck number two is going to be someone of a higher frequency. You cannot attract them in energy that is a low vibrational frequency. And so they are basically waiting for you in your new life. Okay, if they're not in your old life. So some of you guys are feeling alone. That's also a sign of disconnect from intuition because you're never alone. Being alone is just simply an illusion. Nurture yourself. Take a break. Take some rest. You have a lot of, you guys have been through a lot. Challenging times, confronting. Um, that's another reason why the relationship is on hold and some of your desires are on hold because a lot of you guys have also put people before yourself You've been through a lot of challenging times. It's time to confront that and the things that are not making you happy. Forgiveness, confronting your fears as well. Taking that leap of faith into the unknown. Uh, but most importantly, like I said, a lot of you are also burnt out due to challenging times. And you wanna quit, but you just simply can't because you're made for greatness, because you are great. And the more and more you try to quit, the more and more of a revelation of you discovering who your true self and the strength of your true self encompasses. So if you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading. Don't forget to comment down below. I can't wait to get some comments back of encouragement and um, shout out again to the notification gang. So don't forget to comment down below. And remember, you are steadily progressing. Don't be so hard on yourself. I'm gonna move on to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear right now in the moment that you guys are currently in. 
All right, so the overall energy, acceptance. See yourself and others through the eyes of the angels with unconditional love and acceptance. In this way, you inspire and lift everyone in their highest potential. Already for you guys, I'm feeling like <sighs> you guys are being called to be the bigger person in a lot of situations of acceptance. And so the acceptance is accepting the situations that have occurred and also accepting yourself for who you are. But I feel like you guys are here to set an example. And like I always say, the mission is to love people that have hurt us the most. And of course that could be challenging at times. And sometimes you guys just need to um, release yourself from people. And so accepting that some people could just not go with you and some people are not made for your next journey and some jobs you are outgrowing, your life you are outgrowing as well with the acceptance card, cloak of wisdom. Already, I feel like you guys have some psychic abilities and cloak of wisdom. Uh, you guys are very wise. And so it's weird because it's like, I know it's like, I'm tired of being the bigger person. I feel it. I already know. And it's because you guys are so damn great. You have so much wisdom, um, so much psychic ability. Um, some of you guys could be clairvoyant and see um, the truth. And so you already know the answer you seek trust what you know and so a lot of you i'm feeling like you have been through so much but it's because of who you are it is seriously the greatness and i mean even with me doing these videos like i deal with getting sick and i deal with so much on so many caliber levels and i just realized like okay you're here to help the world to to um set them free to realize freedom to be happy to be loved and this is my message and so imagine what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with, if I'm here to promote love, and this is for you guys as well, then I'm going to be dealing with a lot of hate and a lot of situations that put me in a situation that challenge myself to love more um, with people closest to me, friends, family, relationships. And so I'm always being asked to be the bigger person because I'm a leader and so are you. And so if I'm also trying to create a world and a planet of freedom, imagine how much bondage and slavery I come up against every day. And so this is also with you guys, why you're going through so many challenging times is because you're wisdom and it's here to trust what you know. So also you guys are psychic in the way of knowing, and that's also a psychic ability. Yeah, psychic insight. It's so fun when you say it and the cards come up. Um, thank you universe for that. So your third eye is open. Some of you guys have opened up your third eye, your spiritual eye, and you're like, oh my God, this is... Am I tripping? Am I crazy? Or is it, has this been the world? Like sometimes we think as a child, was this always the world or is it because I'm grown up now? You guys are opening your third eye. Most of you have already opened it and it's your spiritual eye. So you're able to see the world from a spiritual place. And so some of you guys are sitting back like, wow, how the hell did I miss this? Your third eye is opening. It's exciting, but at first it is very scary. Um, and so see the truth for what it is, follow your intuition. So you guys are being asked to step up right now, step up in your psychic ability, your high priestess ability. A lot of you guys are very psychic and intuitive. Um, some of you, I feel like may be afraid of this ability. Don't be afraid of this ability. Remember that we do this for the purpose of love and light. Okay. We have no darkness over here. We're a light worker. So you don't have to be afraid of the power that you have. See the truth for what it is. Refusing to see. See you guys, okay, in this card, you can see his third eye, right? His eyes are closed, but his third eye is open. That's you guys. No longer will you see the world from your physical eye, but the truth, it's hard to see the truth with your physical eye. Remember that we have, even as humans, have blind sights. There's colors, ultraviolet colors that are bouncing off the walls right now that I cannot see, that you cannot see. There are frequencies that we cannot hear at certain decibels, okay? It requires us to use our third eye. And so if the more you resist it, the more you run from who you are. You guys are definitely psychic, um, have psychic abilities, and it's scary. Sometimes, even me, I have to be careful about the people I surround myself with or the places I go because I see too much. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I know about you, I know about you. And wow, you just see the truth. And sometimes it's scary because we've been trained to hide the truth for so long. And so with the refusing to see, you're understanding that. Yeah, listen, even with the third eye chakra, 
Mm. Higher self, universe, God, whatever you believe in, authentic self, true self is speaking to you. Some of you guys are refusing to listen. You close your eyes and then you see dream or you have dreams. Um, you look a different way and then you see a sign that says listen or a message that says um, take ownership of your destiny or something small. You'll see it even if it's one word and it says seek. It's, there's messages and signs all around you guys. And it is scary, I understand that. But I also feel like it's accepting who you are. Embracing the real you and the true you and your greatness. Dedicated effort, yes. Putting time and effort into the things that you enjoy doing, your dreams and decisions. A lot of you, yes. I feel like for some of you, you guys might have all four capabilities of the psychic. Clear seeing, clear hearing, clear feeling and clear knowing. Some of you are empaths as well. You walk into a crowd, you can feel the vibe, you can feel the energy and you're like, all right, I'm about to head out. And so you guys are very much empaths. You soak up a lot of energy. Um, you guys have a lot going on. I would suggest you even spiritual bath Sundays um, so that you guys can uh, clear the energy because you guys are taking on a lot. And it's mostly accepting who you are, but observing, staying in tune with you. <laughs> Some of you guys are hard headed, but I'm telling you, you cannot run from this. Signs and messages and guidance is everywhere for you guys. I mean, it's everywhere. And so you're being asked to observe and question things. Um, you guys are leaders. You have such a big miss mission control. Yeah. So some of you have this idea of a life that is meant for you, right? And some of you are creating these, these lives because we resist the truth. And here's what happens. We create this life. We think it's so perfect. And then 10 years, like me, I'm just waiting here with all the books that I've written and all the things I've done. And I'm just like, when is it going to be time? And then I find tarot and I find YouTube and I connect the dots. And I realize did all of the time and all of the effort and the money and the tears and everything I put into my plan just crumbled because the plan that I built for myself was not the overall plan um, that was attained for my greatness. And so God, the universe has this divine plan and knows what it is that you desire, but we spend so much time building our plan because we're like, oh, this is gonna be perfect, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna do that. And the next thing you know, some of us are 30 or 40 and we're like, this is not what it is. So a lot of you guys, even with your careers, or you're worrying about your career path and you're focusing on money and stability rather than your purpose. And so you'll have a great career, you'll make a lot of money, but then there will still be a void. And so you cannot run from this. You cannot control. You have control over your life. And so that's the cool thing. We all have free will, but we build these lives and then they come crashing down and we wonder why. And it's because it was never meant for us. And so we cannot grasp the greatness and the life that was made for us because logically we feel like we know what's best. And so this is also um, trusting and building that connection with intuition in your higher self. And again, it can be scary, but relinquishing control and um, following your intuition. Not that I wasted time. I gained a lot of experience throughout the 10 years of building what I thought was a prevalent life for myself. But now I'm just now getting to a place where I feel like I've been trying to speak to people, help them be free and realize love and all of these great things of truth and purpose. And I didn't realize it was this way, but that was because I was refusing to see. And so I was just like, where's the disconnect? The disconnect is trusting spiritually. High Priestess, yes, like I said, you guys have powerful psychic insights, okay, um, that are here to basically help you. You guys are kind of like Avengers or Power Rangers. You have superpowers. Think of your psychic abilities as superpowers, okay? Powerful psychic insights, reflection, and meditation that provides valuable information. Be at peace. Again, you guys will be challenged, okay? This is not easy. Um, it is about a balance of light and dark and also... With this third eye, a lot of things will uh, close your third, third eye. I, I believe that everyone has the ability to be psychic, but the people who are open more in receiving and not refusing to see will be able to use their abilities. Um, and so the high priestess, you're being called to greater things. Um, even speaking to you guys, like I'm on a whole nother level while I'm talking to you. I don't really get a chance to speak from this caliber because not a lot of people are ready or prepared. You guys are prepared for the next step is what I'm feeling like. 
Two of Gabriel, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Import, important relationships with people who share your vision. So a lot of you guys are going to do this with other people. Um, you're calling in your soul tribe. You'll have a partner or someone who is encouraging you. It could even be me um, that's helping you share your vision. A lot of you guys have visions. You're on this path of greatness and you're made to be pillars and leaders of your community. Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Some of you guys are stubborn. I'm just going to say it. Some of you guys are stubborn. The universe is trying to bring you in. Even as a partner, remember the universe, high priest, the high, um, your high, higher self, authentic self, true self is a partner of yours there to help you manifest these um, dreams that you have, right? And so it's about, it's almost like you guys are struggling with decisions and dreams. Dreams don't seem logical, so you're just like, okay, what decision do I make now? And so it's, you know what is true, you know what is right, it's just following that knowing. Um, and all this you don't have to do by yourself. You guys are having guides and uh, people of your soul tribe as I'm here to help you guys as well. And uh, people coming in of the same frequency to help you guys, so be open to that help. You don't have to do it all on your own. I know that you guys have gotten here and you've done a lot on your own, but I do feel like universe or, um, God, whatever you believe, again, is sending in a partner or someone to help you, all right? Um, Ten of Michael, there's a lot of endings happening, okay? A situation has ended. A lot of this is mental for you guys, mental freedom or mental bondage that is keeping you. Um, a situation has ended and you are finally free. New opportunities for happiness will now follow. Put the past behind you. Um, I almost feel like you guys are nearly, like, entirely awakened, or you're on the verge of being completely awakened. Uh, for some of you, you guys are teachers, educators, um, retreat leaders, travelers, wanderers, uh, just special damn people, just so freaking special. You guys are here in this lifetime for a reason, in this generation for a reason. A lot of you guys, I feel strongly that you are millennials or around that generation that is now being called to be the leader of the generations to follow. So the baton is being passed to you guys to be pillars and light workers of this new world. And it's about you guys. I feel like some of you know this and you're like, damn, like I was really hoping, um, why can't I be normal? And that's the thing. You guys are made to stand out. And so an ending is happening and you guys are free. So some of you guys are struggling with that. You guys are free. Ace of Gabriel, a gift of passion, opportunity, and inspiration, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. Yes. A lot of you guys are traveling, wondering, experiencing things. Um, ah, so many awakening things. It's scary at first, I know, but as you get past it, it's amazing. The world. Um, the world through my eyes is a beautiful world, and that's only because I shifted my perspective, perspective, as I always tell you guys. And so you guys are having a new beginning, a new passion, a new idea, even right now, a new vision to go for it. It's time to go for it. Page, yes. Again, page of wands. So follow your passion. You are ready for any challenge, opportunities, and excitement and adventure. If it's not exciting you, if it's not adventurous, if it's not lighting you up with passion, it is not for you. Remember, your higher self is going to communicate with you through inspiration, excitement, passion, right? That's going to light you up. And you're just like, oh, I can't wait to do this, right? People think that I'm doing such great things. No, 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 no. I want to be on tour saving the world. I have great ideas that just inspire me to get out there and help so many people realize that they're free. And so with you guys, it's the same thing. Now that tour and that place of me just traveling and hugging people and just transmuting and transitioning and transcending my energy into other people and, and showing them this amazing world that I see literally makes me so happy. And so you guys are also being asked to follow your passions for that as well. Yes, just say yes. Some of you are just overthinking it. It's time. Leap. Oh, man. You got to leap in order to soar and fly. And so the, you go first, the universe will catch you or catch up to you. Like I said, it is time, guys. It is time to put out this mission Ten of Wands, so much energy and passion. You guys could definitely be a fire sign. You don't have to be. I feel earth signs too. Yeah, Virgo. I do feel earth signs heavily. Um, and so I love and care for myself first. 
Uh, you guys are also being asked to do that. Like I said, spiritual bath Sundays, spiritual Sundays, take time to yourself. You guys are soaking up so much energy. So you have to be very cautious of your portal. All right. Your body, your portal, your message, because if this is not good, then the body, the vehicle for your spirit is breaking down. Three of Pentacles, you guys will have help. You'll have a team. When I show my work, others give support, but you have to speak up. A lot of you may have trust issues or like, you know, I, I do everything on my own most of the time and I was doing everything on my own, but I finally reached out for help um, because I can't take on so much. And I think that there's so much room for us for abundance and it's literally an overflow of abundance. There's no need to compete. We're all here to do great work. And so speak up about the visions that you have. You will be surprised who wants to support you. Ten of Pentacles, you guys are gonna be very prosperous doing whatever you're doing. I celebrate everything I achieve, very stable, amazing. Five of Cups, I will move forward when the time is right. Exactly, there's no pressure. You guys are gonna leap when the time is right. Okay, I'm just here, you guys are on the cliff. You're like, I'm about to jump into this new world and I'm here to kind of push you, talk you into taking a leap of faith, but you will ultimately take that leap when you're ready. Nine of Pentacles, I take the time to nurture myself. A lot of you, again, I'm hearing that because of your abilities and your gifts and the things that you've been through, you've been through a lot, of course, because to whom much is given, much is required. Though that is scripture, I truly believe in the wisdom of that. The more that you're required to do, the more that you're going to have to deal with because of this, the barriers that you're breaking, okay? And so you have to take care of yourself. You will be financially stable as well. King of Pentacles. I mean, you guys are about to be set prosperity. Um, because of the psychic insight, you guys are also going to be connected to abundance and understanding the frequency of that camera says 1818 so I know it's true I am sure of this place in the world of your place in the world you will create and manifest your own abundance stream of abundance eight of swords man I'm about to start preaching I release myself from self-inflicted binds guys you are the only person that is in the way as I always say okay you guys are releasing yourself from mental slavery mental bondage, self-inflicting bondage, okay? You guys that are choosing to believe in these thoughts are what's hindering you. It's time to be free, okay? You're releasing yourself even now. The moon, you guys are revealing who you truly are. You guys could be a Pisces. You don't have to be or have Pisces in your chart. Ten of Swords, again, endings. I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are resisting this ending of this normal life that you're living. Again, because you could be afraid of this new life. Ten of Swords, there are endings, okay? You guys are going to deal with so much mentally. Um, it's to get you to a place of releasing that so you can focus and trust more on your intuition. King of Swords, you guys are here to walk out a vision, okay? And a mission. You are the leader and the pilot of your own plane, of your own destiny. Emperor, yes, you guys could be an Aries. You don't have to be. The emperor is all about making empowered decisions, taking control over your life. Stop being in the passenger seat of the pilot of your destiny. You're being asked to shift into the pilot position. You could be a cancer. You don't have to be. You and your loved ones are safe. You don't have to worry about any of that. You are good enough. All right? You guys are worthy of the greatness that's that you obtain. Now, as far as your guys' love life, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind, for the heart is the gateway to the soul. Don't make decisions on guilt or what you think you should do, for it is only being true to yourself that you could be true to others. And so the love, I know you guys love love, but right now this is about loving your life, yourself, and your true authentic self. So even your love cards are saying if you could do anything, what would it be? So this tells me that you guys are on your own path of destiny. So if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what you need to hear exactly in this moment. Don't forget to comment down below so I can get words of encouragement back to you guys. For the most part, take your time. It's a lot to take in with this psychic ability and the new life that you're creating for yourself. In the meantime, just stay close to your intuition and allow yourself to be guided. I'm going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and exactly what you need to hear right now in the moment that you're currently in. 
So the overall energy, there's nothing to worry about. You are safe and the situation is under perfect control of divine providence and universal order. Only infuse loving thoughts and emotions into the situation to ensure that the highest possible outcome flows effortlessly to and through you. Shower of abundance, healing your financial situation and change in direction. Uh, so things are falling apart, but like I always say, they're not falling apart. They're falling into place. A lot of you guys are questioning that. You're worried about that. Some of you are worried about your finances. You are being guided to financial abundance and shifting your perspective around abundance and money, understanding that there is an overflow and there is enough to go around. So you're also being asked to shift directions. Change The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now in the future, so follow your path to happy outcomes you desire. So this seems to be a common theme right now. October 2019, it doesn't really matter if you guys are here in another month or another year as this video is timeless, but there are a lot of things going on and you guys are worried about how much is changing. You're worried about your abundance. You're worried about how this is going to come together. You're being asked to change directions. So think about it as you're driving down the road and you come to construction and you're like, damn, I'm going to be late to my destination. Why are they blocking out this road? It's to get you to shift directions. It's the same thing in your life. It is a precaution and a warning to get you to the right direction. And sometimes we have to be forced to, sh to shift directions. Faith, having faith. A lot of you guys are being challenged to trust in your intuition and have faith in humanity. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others. See the light in the world. So again, you guys are going through an awakening shift. A lot of you are worried about where you're going and it's kind of similar to one of the other decks that, that I had today. So if you guys were leaning between another deck, I wouldn't be surprised. I think it was deck number one. Um, a lot of you feel lost. I'm getting this a lot from a lot of you on this video. And like I said, with deck number one, being lost is the first sign of being in the right place. Imagine the people that are walking around this world doing the same thing every day, going the same direction, and they're not questioning what they're doing. If you're lost, it means that you know intuitively that you're not in the right place. And so you're at being asked to shift and change directions. So a lot of you guys, your faith is going to be your GPS. Your faith is going to be the guidance and your tour guide to where you need to be. So you're being asked to shift directions, change directions. Some of you guys have been doing the same things for the past few years. You're asking to, to shift direct, being asked to shift directions. New opportunities are waiting. If you guys are worried about money, the worry of money is the resistance of money. Worrying about money only resists it. So you are learning more about abundance. There's enough abundance to go around. So shift your energy around that. Start seeing yourself covered in money. Money is everywhere. Change your perspective. You have opportunities and abundance coming in. Money should be the last thing that you're worried about. If it is the first thing, you're also asking to be, uh, to shift directions and change direction in your outlook on money. Five of wands. Some of you guys are dealing with a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of conflict. Um, and Again, like I said, you guys are coming to a, a lot of dead ends in your life. It seems to be very relatable to traffic. Like I said, with your direction, it's almost like you're on a path, a path to purpose. Some of you guys have not experienced it, but it's like, it's weird because you're in your car, in your vehicle, in your body, and you get stopped because of construction and you're worried about this destination that you're supposed to be at. But you're going to get there. Some of you guys are worrying about why you're not already there or why you're not at the destination, but it's the purpose of the construction, the conflict is for you to change directions and go a different route so that you can discover the right path to purpose is what I feel. Six of wands, yes. Transitioning um, out of the past, going more towards the future, but being a proud of what you achieved already you're way too hard on yourself. You've achieved a lot. Take some time to pat yourself on the back and be grateful for where you are currently at. And so understand with the energy chart, in order to shift your energy from low to high, it comes from a place of gratitude. Take a, just stop, 
look around at the things that you've done and acknowledge and accept the awards that you have gotten far. A lot of you guys are seeing endings, endings to your destination. The destination that you thought was for you, you're no, you're, you're learning that is no longer for you. And that is a hard thing to accept. And so you're being asked to shift and it's all for a reason. So seeing the truth and the ending, understanding, having faith that this is the right decision, staying calm. And a lot of you guys, I feel like peace is coming into your life because you really need it based on the things that are going on. Page of Swords, yeah, you guys are dealing with a lot of mental battles, a lot of conflict of energy. Where do I go? What are my desires? When am I going to get to my destination? But you're very determined. I take care of the detail and stay in control, okay? So you guys are in control. You guys, it's almost like you're like, I don't want to start all over. And some of you, it's okay. All the things that you've learned are going to be necessary for where you're going, but you're being asked to trust in your intuition. My intuition guides me to truth with the high priestess. Your intuition is there for you. Remember intuition and faith is your GPS and your route. You are on the route and the path to purpose, the path to freedom, love, happiness, and it requires truth. King of wands, new creative projects. I am successful in all that I do. You guys are way too hard on yourself as far as where you are right now and where you want to be. So now that you shifted directions, even if you feel like this is the longer route, it is for the purpose of getting you to where you need to get to. It's about trusting page. Yeah. You guys are starting all over in a lot of endeavors. Some of you are starting all over in your careers, um, being open to good news, uh, also remember that you are in control. You're not exactly where you want to be, but you're on the right path. King of Ariel, your plans are working out very well, professional and financial success using resources wisely. So this tells me also that there, while you're delayed in traffic and changing routes in this endeavor, in this, this, um, route and destination, you are learning more because it's like that construction site that's holding you from that one route that you wanted to get to freedom. Remember you're in the car, you're driving or that route you want to get to uh, your path to purpose is to actually get you to see. And so a lot of you guys are being stopped because your intuition is like, look around. You have the resources. It's right there in front of your face. Just open your eyes and see. And though you guys are in the storm and you're just like, I need to get to this place. I need to get to this place. Sometimes it's those traffic stops that give us peace. Like, okay, I'm, I don't have any control over this. I just have to stop and wait. And so a lot of you guys are being asked to be patient and then also look around. There are resources there to help you to make more money, to um, become more professional. Some of you guys, like I tell a lot of my coaching clients is, some of you love to drink tea and you could be selling mugs, tea mugs with your slogan on it. Some of you guys love to cook. You guys could cook meals for other people who really want um, to have a home cooked meal, but just don't have the time to prepare it. There are so many things that you guys could be doing to bring in more abundance, but it's like you're so focused on this def uh, destination that you absolutely need a construction site to sit your guys' ass down so you can see the resources that are there to help you create more financial abundance for you. Knight of Gabriel, it's moving slow, I know, but it's due to your guy, you guys not wanting to stand still and wait. You feel like you waiting and standing still is wasting time or being lazy or unproductive. And that's not the case because imagine people who are going down a street, right? And they have this destination but they don't realize that it is the wrong way and they're just going, 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 but they feel like they're being productive because they're, they're still moving. They're still moving. Ha ha. You guys are stuck in traffic. But while you were stuck in traffic, you were given ideas and directions to go a different way to get to your destination. So just because you're moving and you have movement does not mean you're going in the right direction. So it is okay to stop stand still, hear your uh, intuition so that you don't waste more time resisting the right path. Okay guys. And I know I'm getting into life co coaching time to take action. Great passion for a cause instinctively knowing just what to do. It is in that pit stop of traffic 
where universe says, okay, sit your ass down, chill and listen that you guys are going to be given the right insight and you're going to be like, oh my gosh, it was there the whole entire time, but I was so focused on, am I moving forward? I'm getting older. When is this going to happen? I'm tired. And you're learning how to trust so that the universe can conspire to make these things happen for you. Queen of Raphael, kind, understanding, giving, and psychic. Follow your heart, a love of home and family, trustworthy psychic information. This just tells me that you guys were here, sent here to choose this stone. A lot of you guys feel lost. But again, like I said, if you feel lost, you've come to the right place because now that you're aware that you're lost, you know that you're not going in the right direction. Therefore, you can take action into going into the right direction. And so you're on your way. This trustworthy psychic information that I'm giving you guys is also going to be a resource and a tool as I am basically your guys' tour guide to getting you back on the right destination and path to purpose, okay? So understand, be open, mirror who or what is triggering you. The things that are triggering you are for a good reason. Remember, we are all reflections. And so as people mirror you and reflect the things that are triggering you, what is it that's triggering you that you need to remove? Because these are also roadblocks, all right? Bumps in the road that for a smoother ride to path to purpose, you must release the things that are triggering you and dealing with them like, hmm, someone said this about me and this really bothered me. Why does this bother me? Because remember that you guys are gonna take back your control um, when you remove the things and the people that are triggering you um, from a place of love. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Some of you guys, your phone is ringing and you don't even hear it because it's on silent. Let's just use that as an analogy. Some of you guys are ignoring the call because you're so busy focused on where you think you should be that you're just like, I don't have time. I don't have time to answer this call. It is the call and it is to get you to the path to purpose. It is basically somebody like me or a psychic ability or your intuition or the universe or God calling you to say, hey, don't go down that way. There's construction zones there. That is not the path for you. Some of you guys are ignoring that call because you're so focused on as movement, as I'm moving, I must be moving forward. And some of you guys are moving further away from the destination because you are not answering the call. Some of you guys are just not focused on it because your phone is on silent. So in analogy terms, pay attention as your psychic and in, in intuitive abilities me, this video, your universe, your guides are trying to get your attention to make your life much more of a desirable life and path to purpose. Spread your wings. Some of you guys are being asked to spread your wings. Why are you driving in the car? You should be in a plane. You should be flying, spreading your wings, being free, doing what you love to do. All right. Blossom. A lot of you guys are made for great things. Um, and some of you are frustrated because you know this and it's okay. You guys are on the right path. It doesn't matter how long it takes you to get there as long as you get there. Okay. You guys are blossoming. You're made to be great. And you know that clarity of belief. A lot of you also are being asked to challenge your beliefs and question what you believe. What do you believe and why some of you are hindering yourself based on beliefs like I know that I'm supposed to do this versus I know this would be a lot of money for me to make. These beliefs are also either hindering or propelling you. So it's very important that you guys understand what you believe uh, because it could be something that you adopted as a child and not necessarily beliefs of your hearts and your desires. So be very cautious about what you're choosing to believe as far as this is the best career I can get, or this is the best home or the best life for me, or this, or that's just life, or, you know, it is what it is. You know, th these thoughts and these beliefs are also speaking in terms of limiting yourself. And you guys are limitless beings. Sacral chakra. Yes. A lot of you guys are being asked to create. A lot of you are also fire signs, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo's, you're being asked to create sacral chakra is all about sexual energy or creative energy. And so you guys are being asked to create new things. Don't worry about it failing. Just create and see what excites you and what works for you. Follow your heart with the sacral chakra. You guys could be uh, 
blocked with that. Embrace, embrace new beginnings, embrace new routes, embrace information, new friends, new frequencies, embrace it. Embrace all the love that's coming to you guys. Embrace all the freedom that's coming to you. All of the truth that I'm giving you guys, embrace it, embrace the love because I'm telling you guys this out of love and I genuinely want you to be free and attain the desires of your heart, which is abundance and not having to worry about things or just having to work to get by, but actually experiencing a life worth living for that is just lighting you up with love, abundance, freedom, and truth. Nothing will come of this situation. So again, like I said, with you guys going up at, at this destination, question, a lot of you guys need to question your destination. All right. And then understanding if you're the person that's just going, going, going because you want to be productive and you want to feel like you're doing something and knowing that nothing's going to come of this situation, but wasting time. And so being still and changing routes is going to create new beginnings for you and new opportunities. Um, so the nothing will come of this situation is also understanding that nothing's going to come from worrying about things and stressing about things. Okay. Step out of your comfort zone. Some of you guys are taking the same routes every day. Why? Because I know how to get there. I know this is it. And now what happened? You woke up, you're driving, and there's a construction site to stop you guys in your path. Now you don't know what to do. You have to rely on your intuition because what? You've been in your comfort zone for so long. Some of you guys, if you have a routine every day, break that routine. Take a different route to work. Literally, try something new. You never know what's going to excite you if you do the same things over and over. Also, being in your comfort zone is a sign of being in the matrix, living pro in a programmed world or living like a robot or a, the walking dead, just walking around like you're alive, but inside you're, you're not alive because you're not doing the things that you love to do and you desire to do. So stepping out of your comfort zone, the reason why a lot of people are adrenaline junkies is because it makes you feel alive. Pain makes you feel in the present moment. If you step on a thumbtack, I guarantee you you're not going to be thinking about anything because the pain is present. That's why a lot of us like to get tattoos. It brings us to the present moment. Or adrenaline rush. We like to skydive. We like to bungee jump. We like to do all these things because it makes you feel alive. And so it is challenging you to get out of your comfort zone. I think that a lot of you guys are going to be so grateful for this card and doing things that you um, love or doing things differently. And as far as your guys' love life, laughter is the best therapy. Have some fun. Remember, love is the greatest healer. Have some fun. Don't take things so seriously. You may not understand why things happen. However, there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. Again, quick note. I remember driving and I had two babies in the back. I was babysitting and I left late and I was rushing. I'm like, Oh my God, I'm late. I got to this light. It was red. It turned green. Something told me not to go. I stayed there for literally like 20 seconds and a car just came flying by. And sometimes we don't realize like why I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. But you guys could be avoiding big, big courses that are taking place and we don't see the bigger picture. So sometimes we don't know why things happen, but it is for our greater good. Because imagine if I would have left 20 seconds earlier, what would have happened? And so remember, you guys are in the right place at the right time. Just follow your intuition. Okay. Um, you don't understand all the time why things are happening, but they're happening for you and not to you. Last but not least, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So while you guys are going through all of this, it's also about understanding that you deserve to feel joyful and you deserve to allow joy to come to you, okay? A lot of you guys are stressing out and worrying about things, releasing that energy and, and having peace come over you guys even now so that you guys understand that you're on the right path, change your direction, follow your intuition, and you will get to your destination. So if you guys chose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below. I can't wait to get some words of encouragement back to you guys. Also, if you guys tune into this video, don't forget to like it. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's video on exactly what you need to hear right now. Love and light to you guys all. I will see you in the next video.